Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to my channel, Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, looking at your recent past, your current energy, and your immediate future, answering the question, what do you need to know right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self? Friendly reminder that these are general readings. They are not here to resonate fully for everyone, and they won't resonate fully for everyone. So do please remember to take what does resonate, if anything, um, and leave what does not. Last thing is that any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading or coaching session with me is in the description box below. All right, Sagittarius, let's uh, jump on in here. Let's start by looking at your recent past. What has Sagittarius been dealing with and what do they need to know about it? Recent past for Sagittarius. Focus, accept responsibility, mystery. Ooh, you were thrown into the unknown here. Thrown into the darkness in some way. Thrown into uncertainty. This focus card to me is like, almost like you were being asked to redirect your focus. As if what you were focusing on, I want to say it wasn't right for you because I feel like at the time you thought it was or you really felt it was or maybe even it was. But it's almost like like this to me is di like redirection, divine redirection, divine intervention of some sort. Now this accept responsibility card, um, it's the moon reflection card. And I feel like what that's really talking about is looking at, you know, our life is a reflection of us, of what we believe, of what we think we deserve, of what we think we're capable of. And that's not to say that the things that you've been through are your fault. Like, you should have believed you were deserving of more. Like, that's not what I'm saying. Sometimes we don't even realize that that's what's happening because what we believe about our reality is a product of what we've experienced, right? Starting in childhood. So what we come to believe is possible for us or how lovable we are, how capable we are, how deserving we are. Like, we're taught that in our reality, right? Throughout our experience. And we internalize what we go through as these deeper truths. And these deeper truths become the reality that we do experience. So sometimes we find ourselves in situations where we are settling for less than what we deserve or we're, you know, we're forcing a path that isn't really meant for us. And it's not to say that you were making the wrong choice because I feel like you were making the best choice that you um, felt was for you at the time. It's that that you didn't realize there was a better path or a better choice or a better outcome or a better option. And that's because you probably hadn't experienced it before. So again, it's not your fault. But I do feel like the universe definitely shifted. Like there's divine intervention. Something happened and you were thrown kind of into the darkness, into the unknown. But the purpose of it was to really shift your focus, shift your path in a way. Um but that's, it's always probably, I would say divine intervention is always one of the most difficult things that can happen because to us, it, just, it might feel like failure or loss or, you know, just painful situations in general. But a lot of times what the universe is trying to do is reveal to us kind of deeper truths about ourself. It's not the universe's way of taking away from you what you desire it's the universe's way of saying you deserve more than this or you are capable of more than this or, you know, you lost that job because you're deserving of being treated better or whatever the case might be for you. So what does Sagittarius need to know about their current energy? Higher power. Okay, so you need to know you are supported and guided by a higher power, whatever that looks like to you, higher or a spiritual connection of your own understanding, but there's more to it than that. Protect, okay, protection, wow. Your path is super protected. You are super protected. 
I mean, just that's higher power with protection, right? Like, I feel like this, whatever you've been going through, it was or is divine protection. It's almost like the, because the releasing card, because this is you having to release a path or a situation or a person or something that like didn't work. And maybe the way that that came to light was a very, was very painful but whatever didn't work was the universe protecting you from what wouldn't have gotten you to what you deserve. And I think that that's the biggest thing you need to know. Because you're very protected, your path is very protected, and the universe is not going to let you stay in places or accept people, situations that don't align with your highest good, like with your ultimate worth. And I feel like that's so hard to... Um, to believe because yeah, releasing blocks I mean you have released blocks on the back of the deck with releasing on the top of the deck so this is really about letting go of something that wasn't working a path I don't a person situation I don't know and I feel like this has been a process too but I mean seeing that higher power with protection like I feel like literally this is the message for divine protection. It's just like so clear as day. It's like protected from what wouldn't have worked or protected from what would have been worse at the end, in the end. Or like something might have been painful, but it got you away from something that, you know, was hurting you. I don't, I don't, I don't really know. All right, what does Sagittarius need to know moving forward? This is immediate future for Sagittarius. Courage, celebration, courage, celebration, knowledge, and release blocks. Okay. Oh, I love this. Okay. Um, and then you have changes. And these are very, this is positive. This is positive changes. So here's the biggest thing is where you're at right now in your energy, I feel like you're learning a lot. It's like, I don't necessarily know about what. And I feel like we'll, we'll probably get a lot more on that when we dive into tarot. But I feel like you're learning a lot through this releasing, what you're going through right now, through the healing. Um, and I feel like as you heal, as you grow, as you evolve, as you learn, it's, it's almost like the way that you approach this situation is going to, like, ugh, oh, how do I put this? Um, it's almost like whatever you're learning is giving you what you need to change things for the better in the future. So I'm trying to think of an example. It's like settling for less than what you deserve in a relationship. This is just an example, not saying this is what's happening in your life. Settling for what less than what you deserve in a relationship. That relationship doesn't work out. That person ends up hurting you. The, the cycle itself ends up hurting you. But now you know better, right? It's like, now I know I'm not going to accept less than what I deserve. I'm going to set stronger boundaries. I'm going to speak up about my truth. Like now you know how to avoid the past. Well, knowing what you know now, you're going to take that and you're going to apply it to your future. And that's going to lead to positive changes, to celebration here. So there's a purpose for what you're going through. There's a purpose for this. And I think that a lot of times when things don't work out, we have a tendency of looking backwards and going, oh, I should have known better. Or I should have seen the signs or I should have... You know, I wish I would have made a different, different decision, right? We, we tend to look back and regret, but I've really learned like not to believe in regret. And trust me, I've made some bad decisions in my life that, you know, right after I would regret or maybe a couple months after I'd regret. But then I've learned not to regret the, any decision that I make because whatever decision I made taught me how to make better decisions um, in the end. It like taught me something that I needed to know in order for me to show it better in my life in some way or to trust more or to you know believe that more is possible for me in some way and I feel like that's what this is really about it's almost like the universe I feel like this really cracked you open in a lot of ways and I feel like the universe is opening you up 
and and this sounds very like cliche, but like to let light in and not in the sense of like, um, like uh, I mean to be able to believe in the possibility that more is possible for you, right? Because we talked about settling kind of for less than what you deserve or accepting less than what you deserve. And again, sometimes we do that without even realizing we're doing that because of what we've been through. But it's almost like this is opening you up to believing that more is possible for you. And almost like, I don't want to go back there. I don't want to make those decisions. I don't want to go back to what hurt me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make different decisions moving forward, which is going to lead me to better. So I feel like you celebration ahead, okay? I might be trying to analyze these too much before we dive into tarot, but I feel like ce celebration ahead. But with the courage card, it's going to require you to show up stand standing in your power a little bit more than you ever really have. But I feel like what you're going through is almost giving you the ability to step into your power more than you ever really have. So it's almost like you wouldn't be able to get here if you hadn't gone through this. I feel like this, this is such a theme in Sagittarius readings. It's like you wouldn't be able to go to where you want to go if you hadn't have been through the things that you have. And I don't want to glorify your trauma or glorify the things that you've been through. I mean, like you should be thankful for it because that's not, that's not realistic. Nor is that, I think, healthy. You know, but it's not, it's not saying that, you know, you need to be happy <laughs> that you're going through this, but trying to, to give it a little bit of a different perspective, right? When we go through really hard things, we really have a choice. We can allow that thing to define us and to become who we are and the decisions that we make, or we can transmute it. We can transmute our painful experiences into healing, growth, expansion, involvement, faith in some way so that we can create better. And I feel like that's what this is really about is like taking what has happened to you, learning from it in some way so that you can apply that knowledge moving forward to create better. Overall theme of this reading for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? And just trusting that you're so like, oh my gosh, Sagittarius, if only you knew how divinely protected you really were. Because I feel like that was the, like I was kind of blown away by those, that this energy and your current energy. It just might be hard to understand how right now. Because it's like, well, if I was protected, I maybe I wouldn't have been put in that situation in the first place. But maybe that situation happened because you needed to learn in something, to grow in some way, to heal in some way. I don't know. Okay. Fire. So there you are. Spiritual cleansing. Fire with spiritual cleansing. Is there anything else here? So fire, obviously your fire sign energy here. Transformation and lucky. Protection. Spiritual cleansing is a, it's a really painful process. Because it really is um, the removal of things that don't serve us that don't that don't align with our worth that don't align with our highest good but a lot of times our our ego our smaller perception doesn't really see it that way which is natural and normal and understandable but that's why I feel like I mean what my purpose is with these readings is really to provide a higher level perspective it's not to say you're wrong and how you feel or to downplay your experience or anything like that but to give you a different perspective in believing that like maybe in some way, somehow, something didn't work out so that something better could happen for you. And I think that I have to be really careful when I talk about that because I think that, you know, these are general readings, right? So it's, it's, it's hard because it's like there's so many different levels of what a Sagittarius out there could be dealing with. It could be like a breakup to like a death of a family member, right? So it, there's so many different ways that this energy could be applied. But I do think that what I have really learned is that some of the hardest things that we go through, some of the most painful things that we go through can end up being the base for some of the best changes in our life. And that's not to, again, say that the things that you're going through, like you should look at it through the lens of gratitude or just be so happy for those things. But that perspective can take you so much further than letting the, the things that happen to you um, define you. 
right? And I think that that's what this is really about. Like the universe is, because I feel like you are transforming in a lot of ways because of this. And I feel like the universe is actually trying to take you to bigger and better things and things that you will be very excited about when you get there. It's just right now in the transformation process of that, it's really hard to believe that because right now things probably feel really dark and scary and not so fun, right? Um, But I don't know. I think that this is, it's like the universe is trying to detox you from the people, the situations that don't align with what you're really capable of experiencing but again to you it probably just feels like loss and just painful situations right so that's why i'm not saying you need to just be so grateful for it but trying to to look at it from that divine protection kind of standpoint can really really help but let's dive into the story a little bit more here sagittarius let's look at this past energy for you let's see you were dealing with Reset past for Sagittarius, please. The strength in reverse. The death. See? Okay. Something was dimming your light, taking away your power, making you smaller or you were making yourself smaller to make something work. And I feel like, oh, yeah, because there's the queen of pentacles. This isn't you, but this is who you were, who you felt you needed to be. Someone different than who you really are are, or like in some way changing yourself in a material sense to try to fit in or make something work sacrificing needs or boundaries or desires what else because it's like you lost your fire or something took away your fire hangman oh no it's in reverse and you were holding on so tightly to something And I feel like that's why, yeah, the universe came in and put something to an end. And I feel like I don't, yeah, I don't know what happened. The universe came in and put something to an end that was dimming your light, taking away your power. Something that required you in some way to change yourself or shrink yourself in order to make it work. I know I already said all that, but I'm trying to like, and I feel like before something happened, there was already a lot of like pain associated with this, but I feel like you got really used to it or like there was a part of you that was like, oh, I can deal with this because maybe it'll be worth it in the end. So it was like you were putting yourself in this situation because you thought things would improve or get better or get to a certain point, but it never did. And so I feel like the universe kind of swept in and put an end to something here. Something that was really, I don't want to say, like like harming you spiritually almost in a way. And I think that Maybe you realized it, but there, you were hanging on to maybe, I mean, could be potential. It could be like the hope of it all, right? I think we have a tendency to invest in, in something for, you know, the hope of what it could potentially be one day, even though we're, we might be miserable now. I see that a lot in, um, and I, for me, I did that in past careers. It was like, I'll just be miserable and I'll work a million hours a day. And then one day I'm going to be happy and I'm going to be free because I'm going to be. And then I learned, oh, the energy that we give now, the energy that we're in now is the energy that we're attracting. So we need to enjoy what we do. There has to be balance in our approach. And like same kind of thing with relationships. It's like 
you know, I'm miserable in this relationship now, but then eventually one day, like when we get married, it'll be good. When we have kids, we do like, I think we have a tendency to invest in things for the future of what could be. And we, we ignore how we're feeling now, but how we're feeling now is what we're attracting more of. And it's almost like whatever the situation that you were in was, it's like, there was a lot of, of pain and maybe heartbreak before the ending actually came along that I don't want to say you were ignoring, but it's almost like maybe there was a bit of justifying just natural and normal and understandable and it happens but it's almost like the universe was like this isn't this isn't right for you this isn't what you deserve this isn't how it's supposed to be so where is Sagittarius at now what do they need to know about their current energy so yeah I feel like the universe so, so that's divine this is divine protection like in the realist form like in the realist sense Current energy for Sagittarius, protection with higher power. Because you, you shouldn't have to dim your light for anyone, Sagittarius. You shouldn't have to give your power away for anyone. And I feel like you were for whatever this was, whatever this path was, like making yourself smaller. Now, okay, it's natural to be disappointed because the, the Knight of Cups in reverse with the Five of Cups and you have the Eight of Swords, I feel like there's this energy of, it's, it's, very, it's a very triggered energy, like very o emotional energy, and you have every right to feel how you do. And I feel like that's why I'm trying to be so careful with my wording is I don't want to um, invalidate how you feel because how you feel is so, so valid and important. Um. Because I do feel like there's a lot of disappointment associated with what didn't work out. And I that's totally natural and normal. You know, grief is a part of any process of loss, even if the loss might actually be what's best for us. Like you still have to grieve it because there was a version of you that thought this that your life was going to go a different way or thought that something was going to work out a different way. And it didn't. And that's really, really hard. And there's going to be grief associated with that. I even feel like I'm speaking to maybe even some of you who are you know, feeling a little bit hopeless, like, well, if that relationship didn't work out, that nothing ever will, like, especially if something was, like, you felt like that was your only path to happiness or to abundance or to safety or I don't know, um, because the, the eight of swords here can talk, can speak of, like, limiting beliefs, um, you know, kind of seeing your life through the lens of what's right in front of you, which again is a very human thing to do. But sometimes we, we have to really push ourselves to think um, or, or perceive a little bit outside of the box of what's right in front of us. Because a lot of times it's like, I'm experiencing loss and heartbreak and that's all there's ever gonna be. And we look at what's, you know, our future through the lens of what we've been through, but you know, every experience in our life is temporary, good or bad, which that reminds us to embrace the good when it's around and to allow ourselves to surrender through the times when things are not so good and know that that period of our life is going to eventually end. Um, you know, nothing, nothing lasts forever. And I think that that's where it's like, you, you know, what you're going through right now isn't the universe, again, and I said this already in this reading, but it's not the universe, it's not spirit trying to take away from you what you desire or what you want. It's the universe trying to move you toward things that are better than what you currently believe is possible, which is why I feel like there was this energy of accepting less than what you deserve or staying in places where you were at because you didn't believe in what is possible. And that's not your fault. That is a product of what you have been through, right? So that's, that's and that's all about limiting beliefs. I talk about this a lot on this channel. 95% of our movements, choices, and decisions stem from our subconscious. Only 5% of the way that we interact with our reality is conscious level decision making, meaning the majority of the decisions that you make, the majority of the way that you interact with your reality is about how you are wired. Your subconscious is a product of what you've been through and how you have come to believe about your reality because of what you've been through. So if you've been to, through a lot of heartbreak, you're going to believe you're only ever going to experience heartbreak. If you've struggled to be loved 
well your whole life, you are going to struggle to believe that you can be loved well. If you've struggled financially your whole life, you're going to have limiting beliefs about money. And so a lot of what a spiritual journey is, a lot of what a growth journey is about is breaking out of the way that you've been taught to believe and reforming new beliefs that align with the infinite potential that does exist for you. But part of that process is going to be learning to let go of things that align with those limiting beliefs and believe in better for ourselves, even when we don't fully, fully believe it. You know, and so I, I think this is a, a tough period for you, Sagittarius, and I don't want to take away from that, but I do truly believe and like what this I feel like is saying is that this is only the universe protecting you from what would would have either continued to keep you in a place of um of pain and suffering and heartbreak or continued to keep you small or continued to help hold you back or continued to hurt you in some way. Um, like protecting you from that experience to open you up to the realization that you don't need to stay in places like that. There are better spaces that are meant for you that I feel like you're being led to right now, even if it doesn't feel like it. So what does Sagittarius need to know moving forward? I hope this is making sense because I feel like it's kind of hard to put into words. What does Sagittarius need to know moving forward? I feel like the celebration card is just, to me, this energy. Huh, look at that. Is this energy that things are going to end up being better than you think. It's like you feel like everything's falling apart, but it's actually... A celebration like just to kind of put it in a silly little analogy it's like you feel everyone forgot your birthday you know everyone around you has forgotten your birthday but then actually everyone was throwing you a surprise party like that's what it feels like it's it's like it feels sad and lonely and scary and isolating but like everything's actually working out even better than you think it is it but but I don't want to take away from your current experience and say just be happy and just be excited about what's to come because that takes away from the whole journey the journey is the grief and the growth that comes when that cracks you open and that light that kind of comes through I mean seeing this is there anything else I need to know about this future energy seeing this energy in your future um so you have the queen of swords and then you have the High Priestess with the Ace of Pentacles here. So there are opportunities that exist for you in your future that you are completely unaware of right now, which I feel like is why there might be this, this feeling of hopelessness is it's like you look around your life right now and you're like, well, I don't see opportunities. I don't see how things can get better. I don't, think, I don't see how I'm ever going to get through this or I'm ever going to heal or I'm ever going to be happy again or whatever the case is. Um, and again, that's kind of what I was talking about by when we start to see things through like our smaller like kind of ego self is when we look around and, and we see things through the lens of fear and insecurity and limiting beliefs and all things that are natural but a spiritual journey or just kind of your spiritual connection um, asks you to step outside of that and to look at the bigger picture and to believe and on some level that things are actually working out for you but I know from experience how hard it is to do that when it feels like everything's falling apart or when it feels like the opposite is happening um, but with this four of wands here I feel like this is about um, like look at this look at the imagery on this card like to me this is about a, like stepping into almost like a portal to reality to a reality that is better than you think is possible right it's like this the success that you desire the love that you desire it's like that is out there for you it's waiting for you but it needs you to be willing to believe that it exists and to step into this energy of having the courage to choose a path that aligns with believing that better exists and to let go and cleanse yourself of the things that don't align with what it is that you truly deserve because I feel like especially uh seeing high priestess with Ace of Pentacles, like you really are being led to new opportunities, but the Queen of Swords, this is this need for an open mind, for an open heart, to be open to new experiences and opportunities that exist ahead of you. Um, now remember, I think a lot of times we have a tendency to look at ourselves as we are one thing, okay? I am my thoughts, I am my feelings, I am my current you know, belief system, but you are so much more than that. So the, the challenge is, yes, you can feel sad and you need to feel sad and you need to process and you need to, you know, look at your reality, however you look at your reality. 
But then you can hold on to a deeper perspective that things are actually working out. I remember when I was going through the absolute worst time of my life. Um, it was miserable. I hated the way that it felt from, from start to finish. It was, it was horrible. But in the back of my mind, it was like I was constantly getting reminded, this is leading you to better. This is leading you to better. Things are going to be better than you even think that they can be right now. And that is what ended up happening. It's just at the time, it was hard for me to just truly, like the feelings that I was having was in association with my life was falling apart, but my belief was in alignment with things are working out for me. So you got to feel and process but you can also believe that better, better things are coming. This is divine protection at its finest, though. It's the universe moving you away from something that was harming you and opening you up to things that um, align with you. But we're going to hop on over to the extended. The extended is going to focus on what you need to do right now in order to move forward in alignment with your higher self. So this is what you need to know. Extended is what you need to do. Any information for that, again, is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Sagittarius, as always, for your support of my channel. I do obviously hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, I wish you nothing but love and healing and all of the wonderful things that you deserve and desire on your journey moving forward. All right, bye, Sagittarius.